Acronis delivers safety with CyberProtect Home Office. Welcome back to Textonation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Acronis is President Gaidor Magnanurov. Great to see you again, Gaidor. Thank you, Fred. Great to see you. Hello, everybody. Acronis CyberProtect Home Office is out. Let's talk about what consumers should know about the software. I mean, your company's been around for a couple of decades now, and uh, this is really an updated, more full-featured package? Yeah, we're in the market for 20 years. We started as the personal backup solution, but now it is a complete protection. So it is backup, it is cybersecurity, it's protection against ransomware, and uh, the most recent addition was identity protection. So as part of the overall package, if you use the cloud subscription, you will get a service that will monitor your personal data on online and on dark web. So in case somebody stole your social security number or your passport number, or your ID number and uses it somewhere, we'll be able to flag it and notify you about it. That's a really important thing. And you've partnered with uh, with a company called uh, Iris or or software. Yeah, I, yeah. Iris uh, and from Generali. They're a trusted partner. They were doing it for many years. And we build a product together because our vision is that the modern consumer needs to have complete protection. Separate solution for backup, separate solution for security, separate solution for identity protection doesn't work anymore. You need to have the complete protection for your system, for your data, and for your identity information on the web. Terrific. So step us through, you've got so much packed in here. Step us through the different features of, of what uh, CyberProtect Home Office delivers to consumers. I would start from the experience that most of the users have. What they do, they download the product, install it, and then just in a few clicks, they just have the complete copy of their machine sent to the cloud. And that's basically all they need to do. By default, they will have this protection enabled. All they need to do is just to create the first backup plan so they have the copy of their data. The security features will be working in the background. They'll be monitoring for any kind of changes locally in your machine. And if there's a suspicious activity, they'll be able to block it. And if it's a, let's say, ransomware attack and some files are corrupt, then the software will be able to automatically recover it. So you don't have to spend any time on protecting your data. As long as you have the copy of your data, and as long as you have the product running and security enabled, you'll get the protection. So for most of the customers, it's just a few clicks and set and forget. For more advanced customers, they can create different schedules. They can send data to different destinations. So I know a lot of uh, home office users that would have a local backup on the drive, then the network backup on NAS device, then they would have a cloud backup. They will back up different data in different locations. For instance, we know a lot of photographers and people dealing with multimedia. media. They actually have multiple copies in different locations because they have incredible amount of data. So we have flexibility to schedule where, what to copy, what to do with it. So if you're an advanced user, you can configure the product and make it very flexible. But for majority of people, even myself included, I just use it by default. I have a complete copy of data in the cloud, I have security running, and that protects me. And I guess the, you would pay for the amount of data that you need in the, in the cloud, or how does that work? Yeah, we have a few options. So the very basic starts, uh, we call it essentials. It starts with no cloud storage. So it's just local backup. Some people choose to have it. I don't really recommend it because uh, you have to maintain local copy, external drive, NAS device or something like that. But some people choose to do it, especially those who have a lot of data and they prefer to store it locally. Majority of people, uh, maybe 80% of people, they prefer to have multiple copies. One local copy, one copy in the cloud. So then you can choose how much data you need. Some people choose 500 gigabytes, some choose a terabyte, some in a family environment or home office environment, they would choose up to five terabytes. So it depends on what you need and what you want. And then you can choose the level of subscription that you that you need. Terrific. And I guess for people to really make use of it, you, 
you've got to make it easy. And that's what you've done here, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's security is good only if it works. And the reason it may not work is that it's either hard to configure, which we avoid by just making it automatic, or it is too annoying. So if there's too many false positives and you have constant notifications, something's going on, people tend to disable security. What we've done is we integrated security with data protection in a way that our engine that detects suspicious activity learns from the data. Having backup data, it can learn from it and actually reduce number of false positives. So you don't have this annoying notification of something going on that when in reality, nothing going on. And also we can afford to do it because let's say if there is some sophisticated more than threat and they, you know, thousands of them appear every day and it attacks your data and corrupts some of the files, we'll be able to recover it. We use um, a multi-layer protection. So let's say if there are some files corrupt, we have local cache. We can recover them automatically from there. If it doesn't work, we have a local backup and then we have cloud backup. So we can provide the protection at the same time to reduce the number of annoying messages that people complain about when they're using other antivirus solutions. And that way they end up disabling it. So that's the key. And there's also the uh, the service that you provide in terms of the antivirus or other kinds of protection, right? Yeah, yeah. So it is integrated. So it's antivirus. It's a behavioral engine that detects uh, suspicious activity. It is anti-malware, and it's all integrated in one single package. Just terrific. What about syncing between computers? If people, say, have a, a notebook and, and a desktop computer, is it easy to use the software to keep a file synced between the two? Yeah, we do have that capability. But frankly, I have to be honest here, most of the people prefer to use some kind of cloud file signature services. It's hard to imagine our customers not using something like OneDrive, right? So for the sync, a lot of people prefer to use OneDrive, especially now when it comes with Microsoft 365. And that's an interesting point to highlight here is that the file sync and sharing services, they're not replacing backup. If you lose a file, if the file is removed, or it's corrupt, or if it's infected, it will be synced across all your devices. So you will have it everywhere. So the sync store, sync does, the file sync does not really replace security, it doesn't replace backup. That's why most of our customers, they do have the file sync and share solution, and then they will have our solution as a backup and security on top of it. Tell us what you feel the key advantages you have over some other software solutions out there. I'm not sure that anybody is doing everything that you do in one package. Yeah, it's true. We are the only integrated solution, but I would say the key advantage is that it just works. Because if you think about it, a lot of people used to have multiple tools. They would have an antivirus, they would have some kind of malware removal tool, they would have a backup tool, and then all those tools are not integrated, so they're not, they're not contributing to the overall protection. So if something happens, you have to go back to your backup and recover it, and people forget to configure something or forget to store files in the proper location. So that's, that's happening all the time. That's why security fails and people frust, uh, are frustrated all the time. And we solve that problem by just saying, look, you don't have to think about it at all. You set it up, you say complete image of my computer to the cloud or to the local storage or to multiple locations, and that's it. It's just working. And if something fails, we can recover. That's, I think, the, the main difference. We save tremendous amount of time. And you work on mobile devices too. Yes, we have, as part of the subscription, if you have the software, you can also install the mobile app on your phone and keep your photos, videos, contacts backed up to the cloud or to a local machine if you prefer to do it. But I would say almost everybody now prefers to back up everything in the cloud. And the reason they prefer to do it, even though they may have some subscription for iCloud or some other type of storage, is that they would have all the data in one place. So from all of their computers, all of their mobile devices, the data goes to the Cronus cloud and it is encrypted, password protected. You can set up a separate password for encryption for every single backup. So people prefer to have it in kind of one location. Tell us about uh, pricing. You mentioned that there are different levels here. Yeah, so it depends on 
what um what what you need. So it starts at the very basic level without closed cloud storage. It's approximately fifty dollars a year for the subscription of one computer. Uh, I would say most of the people prefer to have subscription for at least three computers. And three computer subscription with uh, 500 gigabytes of storage will be around $130 per year. That's the most popular option. But we have a lot of people who use incredible amount of storage. And uh, one um, computer subscription with one terabyte will be at about $130. Terrific. So for more information, the best place to go? Acronis.com. It's A-C-R-O-N-I-S.com. Kadar Magnodorov, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you, Fred.